If you ask me what is the most important thing in all the world for a human being, what would that be? My answer would come very quickly because the Bible teaches us that Hebrews 11 verse 6, without faith it's impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. The most important thing in all the world is a faith that pleases God, that brings pleasure to God. God created you to bring glory to Him and to His name, to bring pleasure to Him. And the truth is the greatest pleasure that you can enjoy on planet Earth, the greatest satisfaction that you'll ever receive on planet Earth is when you know that you have brought pleasure to God and that you have satisfied yourself in Him because then He's satisfied and you are fulfilled. That's why God created you. And that's why Romans chapter 1 verse 17, as we're looking at the book of Romans, is such a powerful verse. The Apostle Paul says, For in it, that's the gospel, for in it, the gospel, for in Jesus Christ, the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed, and from faith for faith, as it is written, the righteous or the just shall live by faith. And so we're introduced to this word righteousness and justification. Actually, it's interchanged here in some translations. It says the just or the justified one lives by faith. Martin Luther, when he came across this verse after he had been trying to work his way to heaven for years, even as a minister in the church, he realized that works will not save him. His justification, his right standing before a holy God only would come by faith. Faith in Jesus Christ. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. You say, what is faith? Faith is the medium of exchange between heaven and earth. It's faith that brings heaven down to earth. It's faith that takes you into the presence of God. Faith possesses what grace provides. Grace is God's ability. Only by grace can we do what we do. Only by God's grace can our eyes be opened to see who Jesus really is. Only by grace do we have the desire, the power, the ability to do what God wants us to do. And that grace only comes as we humble ourselves. But grace is what God provides. Faith is my responsibility. Faith is man's responsibility. The opposite of faith is unbelief. Unbelief, doubt. If we doubt, we cannot come into the presence of a holy God and really believe and trust Him. Now, here he says in Romans 1:17, the just shall live by faith, or there is no justification before a holy God without faith. You see, faith is, faith is what brings us into that uh, place where we do really honestly know and believe that only God can do what God can do to save my soul, to transform my life, to bring me eternal life. Unbelief is the opposite of faith, and unbelief is the sin of idolatry because it basically means I'm either trusting myself, trusting in myself, I'm trusting in something else or someone else rather than God Himself. That's idolatry. That's the sin of unbelief. The people of God, the people of Israel, ended up in the wilderness for 40 years because of the sin of unbelief. The book of Hebrews is about, their, because of, about that. Because of their unbelief, they did not enter into their rest. And my friend today, Jesus says, Come to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. As we come to the close of a year, 2020, we get ready to start a new year. There's not been a year like 2020 in my whole memory of my almost 70 years. And I'm telling you, the best way to enter 2021 is to enter it with a heart of faith. And the faith is not in your faith, but the faith is in Jesus Christ. Today, would you trust Him? Would you believe Him? He loves you. He gave us His Word to know who He is. And by faith, we believe, we receive, we trust, and we know that He and only He can change our lives. We're not sinners because we commit murder or because we lie or we cheat or we steal. We're sinners 
because we're born sinners and we're sinners because we refuse to believe in Jesus Christ. Jesus came to save you. And if you by faith believe him, trust him, today he will save you. Won't you open up your heart to him even right now? God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful day.